Hello and thank you so much for joining us on another edition of McAllen News Update. I'm Leah Yadis. And I'm Roy Kanthu. After the 2020 census, there's new changes in the city commissioner districts. The McAllen City Commission formally adopted an ordinance redistricting the city of McAllen single member voting districts. Redistricting was required because of the results of the 2020 federal census indicated a 40% population deviation based upon current district lines. Early in the process of drawing a new single member district map, the McAllen City Commission adopted a resolution establishing criteria to ensure that the process met the requirements of both the U.S. and Texas constitutions were transparent to McAllen residents. The redistricting plan approved by the McAllen City Commission meets the one person, one vote requirement of the U.S. Constitution and reduces the district population deviation to 4.19%, well below the 10% threshold. The redistricting ordinance will take effect immediately. Updated maps of the new single member districts will be available on the City of McAllen's website, on its mobile 311 app, and its social media platforms. Some residents will now reside in a different district, which means that they have a new McAllen City Commissioner representing them. For contact information for their new City Commissioner, call 681-1001 or the McAllen 311 customer service at 681-3111. The City of McAllen enters mandatory Stage 2 water restrictions. Stage 2 restricts sprinkler system irrigation for all residents or businesses within city limits to only two days a week during specific hours for each of the six zones the city is divided into. Head to McCallumPublicUtility.com to view these six zones for the designated irrigation days and times. Remember, handheld hose or watering may be used any time during the day with no restrictions. However, the hose must be in the resident's hands at all times. Other restrictions include no car wash, fundraisers, or ornamental fountains without a recycling system. For a list of other restrictions and more information, head to McAllenPublicUtility.com. There's new leadership at the McAllen Chamber of Commerce. At a welcome reception at the McAllen Chamber of Commerce, Chamber officials and city leaders hosted a meet and greet with local business and community members to welcome the newly hired Chamber President and CEO, Josh Mejia. Mejia previously worked at the Brownsville Chamber of Commerce. He will lead the McAllen Chamber of Commerce, which focuses on supporting local businesses in McAllen. I feel great. You know, since day one, I've received the warmest welcome I've ever received in my career. I'm very uh, much looking forward to the great potential the city of McAllen has and all its partners all across the board. The wonderful relationship that we have with the city of McAllen, McAllen EDC. I mean, what better than to, you know, dive right into a great team of individuals that are looking forward to the success of our city. The McAllen Chamber of Commerce has more than 2,000 members. Once again, McAllen goes above and beyond, extending a special discount offer for anyone looking to travel to Mexico. Enjoy an exclusive $250 round trip to Mexico City, Monterrey, or Guadalajara from McAllen International Airport for a limited time. Visit idomar.mx and use code MFE2022, select fare, empresa. For questions on booking information, call Idomar directly to their customer care at 1-844-237-6629. Available for a limited time, so book your flight now. McAllen International Airport, above, beyond. Also, the McAllen Public Library contributes to education in the region. Education is fundamental to development and growth. The McAllen Public Library is always looking for ways to help children in McAllen and neighboring communities to enhance knowledge. 13 libraries in the Hidalgo County Library System donated more than 1,300 books for youth to the initiative Colecta de Libros Infantiles y Juveniles. The initiative, which was promoted by McAllen's District 6 Commissioner Pepe Cabeza de Vaca, benefits foster youth 0 to 18 years old in 50 casas hogares around the state of Tamaulipas. The books in English and Spanish will encourage youth to read for pleasure and increase their vocabulary and reading comprehension. Donations include fiction and nonfiction books for children and teens, and a collection of oversized illustrated story books to enhance the very young. If anyone is interested in donating books to the McAllen Public Library, call them at 956-681-1300. The City of McAllen partners with South Texas College to provide opportunities for students to learn how to drive a city bus. South Texas College and Metro McAllen have partnered to offer a transit academy that will train prospective drivers of the city's metro bus system. STC created a Metro Transit Academy to address a shortage of drivers that are affecting the industry locally and nationally. 
I think it's very important to have governmental entities, you know, provide partnerships that, that provide for the common goal of the people. And in this situation, look, you, we're training people to, to, to drive or to be able to utilize, whether it's buses or commercial vehicles. Right here in the Valley, there's right now a big demand. The partnership was made possible through an interlocal agreement between the college and the city earlier this year. The city donated a transit bus to STC for one year, at no cost to the college, for STC's new commercial truck license, bus driving with passenger endorsement course. It's a Vegas-style fundraising event at the McAllen Public Library. The McAllen Public Library is hosting their annual fundraiser, Wild West Casino Night, on Saturday, September 17, at 6 p.m. It will be an exciting night of traditional casino games from blackjack, poker, roulette, and slot machines. Tickets are $100 each and can be purchased online at mccallanlibrary.net or call the McAllen Public Library at 681-3006. The ticket includes entry to the casino night event, a taquiza and drinks, casino night chips, a fun after-hours VIP experience at the library with chances to win prizes, a keepsake 360-degree photo, and a commemorative thank you gift. This event is hosted by McAllen Public Library's Advisory Board and all proceeds go towards the 2022 South Texas Book Festival. Mark those calendars for another big festival in McAllen. The 16th annual 2022 Fiesta de Palmas is set for October the 21st through the 23rd. Promising to be the biggest fiesta yet, this event will be held once again at the McAllen Convention Center. Featuring a hefty lineup of live music, carnival rides, diverse foods, and interactive activities for the whole family. Some of the exciting attractions include the Voladores de Papantla, children activities like Dinosaur George, and Into the Wild featuring live animals. Families will also be able to take photos at the pumpkin patch and pick out their perfect pumpkin to take home. There will also be a giant Ferris wheel and other fun rides at Fiesta Grand Carnival. At the end of the night, the entire family can enjoy the nightly fireworks extravaganza. For the full schedule with stages and times for each performance, go to fiestadepalmas.com. And for updates and festival information, visit McAllen Convention Center Facebook and Instagram. Anyone interested in volunteer opportunities can email fiestavendors at mccallen.net for more information. There's a new mural celebrating the Monarch Butterfly Habitat Restoration and Conservation Initiative at Quinta Mazatlán. The artwork titled Destino Monarco after the National Wildlife Federation's Monarch Conservation Plan was created by the renowned artist Irving Cano. The city of McCann, together with the National Wildlife Federation, knows the importance of protecting the iconic and at-risk monarch butterfly and what this mural will now represent. Rebecca Quinones Piñon, a member of the National Wildlife Federation, was at the unveiling ceremony and had this to say about the close partnership. We want to celebrate the seven-year partnership, close partnership with the city of McAllen and the fact that uh, they've been a, a, a key player on, on our conservation. Texas is extremely important for the uh, migration of the eastern migratory monarch butterfly and we are really pleased that McAllen continues to help us to ensure that we are supporting uh, the monarch butterfly. So, and the, the mural itself is representing uh, that celebration as well, but also we would like to ensure that others in the city have the opportunity to be inspired by this mural and uh, continue helping us as well to conserve the monarch butterfly by creating native, native habitat. Rebecca goes on stating that she looks forward to more collaborations and increasing the native habitat within McAllen and the surrounding area. The city of McAllen partners with Hidalgo County Precinct 2 to build an adaptive park in South McAllen. At a groundbreaking ceremony, McAllen city leaders and Hidalgo County Precinct 2 Commissioner Eddie Cantu have partnered up for an exciting addition, replacing the existing play structure with an accessible playground designed for all. The new surfacing will be poured in place to provide mobility around the playground for wheelchairs and walkers with ramps throughout the play area. The playground will include elements for children ages 2 to 5 years old and play system items for kids 5 to 12 years old. The design also includes musical elements of chimes and drums. The Los Encinos Inclusive Playground will be the first location with the We Go Swing accessible swing that will promote social interaction by encouraging multiple users on the swing. It's a good project. We really did need it. Uh, I think a lot of the people aren't gonna are gonna enjoy it. A lot of kids that are like, let's say, in a wheelchair, 
they don't have somewhere to go and play. Oh, well, this is this park. Now we're going to have that a little slide that they can get on with a wheelchair and have fun like every, every other kid. The adaptive park will promote developmental benefits for children, including motor skills such as balance, flexibility, and upper body strength. The McCann Holiday Parade presented by HEB and powered by Burt Ogden Auto Group has more exciting news. Become a part of the McAllen Holiday Shoebox Parade with a shoebox-sized flow entry. This year's theme, South Pole and Beyond, gives everyone across the Rio Grande Valley a chance to be creative and be featured in the City of McAllen's Holiday Shoebox Parade. Call 956-681-1206 for more information on how to enter. Prices include McAllen Holiday Parade tickets, gift cards, and the winning entry will become an actual float in the 2023 production of the McAllen Holiday Parade. Entries must be submitted by no later than Wednesday, November 23rd, 2022 by 3 p.m. to the Office of Communications at McAllen City Hall. Also, become part of the celebration by volunteering to serve as a balloon handler or banner carrier. Sign up at McAllenHolidayParade.com. Finally, high school bands throughout the region, listen up. Sign up to be a part of the magical tradition. Call 956-681-3333 for more information. Remember, the parade will be held on Saturday, December the 3rd, starting at 6 p.m. Don't miss the helium-filled character balloons, illuminated floats, and celebrity lineup. Get your tickets now at McAllenHolidayParade.com. Great news for residents in the western part of the city. The city of McAllen held a groundbreaking ceremony for the Daffodil Avenue Roadway, Storm Drainage and Water and Sewer Improvement Project. This is a $5.5 million dollar road expansion project here between uh, Taylor and Ware Road on Daffodil Avenue. Uh, not only are we expanding uh, this roadway from two to four lanes, but we're also improving the drainage in this area as well, and including uh, sidewalks uh, here for uh, mobility as well. So it takes care of so many issues that we're dealing with in McAllen, and for the residents here, even though nobody likes to having to drive around construction, when we're finished, this is going to be a great project for this area of town. Additional improvements to the roadway include storm drainage improvements along the entire span of the construction project. The storm system will connect to the Mission McAllen drain ditch, which will positively impact the water management along the construction area and adjacent subdivisions. Also included in the scope of the work are water and sanitary sewer infrastructure improvements. City officials say this project will improve mobility and maintain the quality of life to this fast-growing sector of McAllen. It will also bring much-needed relief from flooding to the area. It's time to raise awareness for the many local, free, and low-cost health resources available. The McAllen Public Library hosted a community health fair where attendees took advantage of free health screenings, local providers, on-site information stations, and children's crafts. The library also debuted Care For Me, McAllen Public Library's newest program offering a confidential location inside the library for patients to access real-time telehealth services. The telehealth service and equipment is made possible thanks to a grant awarded to the McAllen Public Library by the Texas State Library Association. To find out more about any upcoming health fairs or about Care For Me telehealth service, please contact the Maine Public Library at 956-681-3000. For National Night Out, McAllen police officers welcomed residents. Hundreds of families joined the McAllen Police Department at Municipal Park and at Sam Houston Pavilion earlier this month. National Night Out is a unique nationwide crime, drug, and violence prevention program that is held every year on the first Tuesday in August. National Night Out is a good way to meet the police officers who patrol neighborhoods and streets. According to McAllen Police Chief Victor Rodriguez, he says at the same time citizens can take advantage and ask law enforcement officers questions concerning police community partnerships, neighborhood safety program, and crime prevention awareness, which are important themes of National Night Out. Giving blood is a simple thing to do, but it can make a big difference in the lives of others. The City of McCown once again hosted a blood drive for employees and the public. Every day in the U.S., patients in hospitals, surgical centers, and emergency treatment facilities need approximately 29,000 units of red blood cells, 5,000 units of platelets, and 6,500 units of plasma. To donate, contact Vitalant at 877-258-4825 or go to their website at vitalant.org. McAllen is welcoming an international convention in September. 
For the first time ever, McAllen will be the host city for the International Festivals and Events Association 65th Annual Convention, Expo, and Retreat, September 19th through the 21st at the McAllen Convention Center. The convention will bring in festival and event producers, host cities, vendors, and suppliers, and other industry leadership from around the world, including 29 different states, 10 different countries, and hundreds of events. The 65th annual event will draw in approximately 400 attendees over the three-day gathering. For more information, visit ifea.com. That's going to do it for us here. Thank you so much for watching. For the City of McAllen, I'm Roy Cantu. And I'm Leah Yaves. See you next time.